I'm actually a computer scientist by profession. I like to include <laughs> art and technology. But I'm like working on basically clothing made out of books and ideals like that. Trying to rethink the whole lot. <laughs> Everybody just sort of thinks certain written things is universal, a Bible, and, and, and it, you know, a, a passport. We need, you know, we need to have ID cards. We need to have things like that. But I really think that people themselves should stop and think, hey, why don't I write my, make my own calendar, make my own passport, make my own Bible, make my own theology, and see what comes out of it, you know? The passport's a part of meeting an artist, Ian Sinclair. Ian Sinclair. These pieces were made for a British writer, Ian Sinclair. I did the pieces, then I scanned them, and then I gave them to him as a gift, then I drew them in. So these are all these new pieces here. It goes out, uh, so it's a long story of the universe. So the thing is, is a lot of people talk about a lot of change in Britain. And it's like, well, what exactly will you get yourselves into? I mean, what exactly is a Brexit? What happens after that? What, what happens to uh, the visa, to the money, to the passport? I mean, what kind of world? And I think people kind of forget that we make our own world, you know? This is interesting because this is my, my book of dirty little secrets. This is actually full of my dirty little secrets and it's taped shut. Somebody had to make the passport. Somebody had to design the pound. No, somebody, knew, Isaac Newton made the pound coin. Somebody had to design the calendar. I did this stuff just didn't come from God or it, it, we made everything. And we can remake everything, maybe not this week or this month, but we could remake everything in time if we try, if we're up for it.